Hey everybody, Josh Erdman from AmericanBedBugHeaterRentals.com. Today we're going to talk a little bit about getting rid of bed bugs and which method is the best method, whether it's heat or whether it's chemical. If you've seen any of my videos in the past, you probably know I talk a lot about heat, the pros of it. Um, there's not very many cons, there are few. Um, biggest thing you'll hear people that are opponents to heat treating, um, they're going to say when you're going to heat the room, the bed bugs are going to run to another room and they're going to get out or you're going to get them into the wall voids. That is true to an extent, but it also depends on how quickly you heat the room, what type of equipment you're using, whether it's propane or electric, um, and there's a couple other factors that go in there. The other thing you need to really remember, and this goes for the chemical as well, when the bed bugs start to run, they don't have a GPS, they don't have a map, they don't realize that if they run six inches this way and they get on the outside wall of your insulation, they're safe. They're just running trying to get away from the heat. So um, definitely heat, in my opinion, is still the absolute best method because it cooks and kills everything, um, and it's simple. It's green, you don't have to live with chemicals, and it's very, very fast. Uh, heat treats typically take anywhere up to 24 hours to do, whereas chemicals can take up to six to eight weeks. So the chemicals I have out here, I'm not picking on any of these brands. Um, these are just some representations of the different kinds. So we've got some dusts here and some powders. We've got some aerosols, and we've also got the foggers. So. Um, I'm going to start with the foggers because those are my absolute least favorite product in pest control. Um, the, the real issue with foggers, the chemical is not that strong. It's also very odorous and the bed bugs can smell that and it makes them go crazy. So they're going to start running and again they don't know which way they're going but they're definitely going to move away from the area. The fact that the chemical isn't very strong means if the bed bugs aren't in that area long enough they're not going to pick up enough of that chemical and it's not going to kill them. So they're going to be in another part of the house, get into another room or get into a wall void. Next one is going to be the aerosol. These actually work if you get it directly on a living live bed bug. So if you see some bed bugs and you spray them down, most likely this is going to kill them. The thing you're going to miss is the eggs. Not that these will actually kill the eggs. Well, it may, but the other part is the life expectancy of these chemicals are very short, meaning probably 28 days or so worth of residual effect. So a bed bug, when it lays an egg, takes 32 days to hatch. So if a bed bug lays a, a, an egg right here today, I come by five minutes later and spray it with this chemical, that egg is gonna hatch four days after this chemical broke down, which means there's no chemical left to kill the active bed bug. So I'm not a huge fan of these. These are okay in a really confined hey, I've only seen one, we just came back from a trip, spray the heck out of it, go for it. Um, they're cheap, they're inexpensive, you can get any of these, you know, Kmart, Walmart, Amazon. Um, the, the other one that I really don't like is the powders and the dusts. Seems like a good idea, especially even the all natural ones that are, you know, 100% green and aren't gonna hurt you. Great, good stuff, problem is the way it's applied. So some of my other videos I showed how messy this stuff gets when you spray it around, but you literally have to coat the entire room bed and all, furniture, and it's a dusty mess. It's also harmful for your animals if they were to sniff it or consume it, so you have to keep them away from it. Um, and again, this stuff isn't going to do anything to the eggs because the eggs aren't tracking around, they aren't moving. Um, this is more effective against living bed bugs as they crawl around, they come in contact with it, pick it up and they kill themselves. Again, this stuff will last longer than 30 days, so if the eggs hatch and you happen to have some dust near it, They'll crawl through it and it may kill some of them. But again, it's not really effective. And the other thing is with chemical, six to eight weeks you have to live with this in your house, on your bed, where you live, where your kids and pets live and play. Um, and in my opinion, less chemical in a house is better than more chemical in a house. It's just safer, um, you know. So that's my two cents on, on heat versus, versus chemical. Um, again, I, I'm a heat guy. I, I love heat. It's simple, it's quick, and it's effective. Um, some of this will work on, on smaller scale bed bug infestations, but you know, if, if you've got one or if you've got a hundred, heat's definitely the better way to go. So if you want to get rid of bed bugs yourself, you're a do-it-yourselfer, uh, we do rent these heaters out. We have different packages available at AmericanBedBugHeaterRentals.com. On that website, you can find our prep list so you know how to prep your rooms. There's videos on how to set this equipment up, which is very, very simple to do. Um, and there's a lot of other really useful information on that site. You can also book your rental, pick your pickup and drop off location, um, and it's really simple. We, we, we really couldn't make it any simpler. Uh, so again, if you want to rent, check out AmericanBedBugHeaterRentals.com.